Hi foodie fans. So July 12th was National Pecan Day, Pecan Pie Day and I completely missed it. I just, you know, schedules got busy and I just totally missed it. But we're going to go ahead and make our uh, pe uh, pecan pie treat today. And what we're going to do is these easy pecan pie bars and we're going to use a sugar cookie mix to make the crust. So we'll, we'll see how this turns out. All right, so you've got this lovely sugar cookie mix that we're going to open up. And yeah, there we go. We'll get that put in there. All right. Then we're going to mix in a stick of butter, softened. It's very soft. It's soft butter, as you can see. It's like sticking to, sticking to the wrapper. All right, and then we're going to mix in one egg. There we go, one egg. We're going to get that all mixed up here to make our crust. Oh. I love this spatula. I found it at our local, our dollar store. We'll mix this up. All right. So, and it's supposed to form a nice sticky dough. So we'll try and get it to a nice sticky dough here. It's not coming along very easy. Let's see. Yep, that's all that's in there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's turning into a sticky dough here. You just got to work at it. Sometimes you just got to really work it. Work it, girl. There. There we go. That's getting me about where we want it. And my arms are getting tired. <laughs> They're so tired now. All right. And I think that's about where we want it, like, like that. So we'll get everything pressed together into the pan. There. So, all right, we got our 9 by 13 pan here. We're going to spray it down really good. Make sure you spray everything else on the counter as well. There. So we'll get our sugar cookie crust in here. All right. Get it spread around. We're going to press this into the bottom of our pan. Maybe easier with this because it's sticking to my hand. No, nope, it's sticking to that too. We'll fix that. All right. So to fix this problem, we're just going to spray our thing down. So that's just not working now, is it? <sighs> so this uh, recipe is not as easy as it looks. There. I like working with my hands a lot better. Get this mushed in there. Make sure you get it all the way down.
so bad. I'm gonna be cutting this out. This sucks. All right, we've got our crust all pressed in there. And so it kind of got a little thin. I'm guessing it'll kind of puff up. But we're gonna put it in our oven here. The oven is set at 350 degrees. There, we're gonna put it in there for 20 minutes. All right, so we're gonna set that for 20 minutes and then we're gonna make our pie filling. There. And let me find a stirrer here. All right. So our pie filling is really easy. We're gonna start with one cup of brown sugar, packed brown sugar. We're gonna do two tablespoons of flour. What else do we have here? We got a half a teaspoon of bacon powder, baking powder, not the bacon powder, half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna do a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Come on. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. All right. Then we're going to do two eggs. I always crack my eggs in a bowl just to make sure there's no surprises in there. And then it's easier to dig the shell out too. There we go. So, two eggs. Alright, towel here. We're going to mix this up. Oh yeah, that's going to be yummy. There. So there's our filling. And then we've got a package of two cups of chopped pecans. The recipe only calls for a cup and a half, but I'm not going to have a half a, bat, half a cup of pecans sitting around. So we're going to do all two cups because I like lots of pecans in my pecan pie. And it's pecan, not pecan, not pecan, it's pecan, not pecan. It's so funny growing up, we used to, we spent two years living at my grandma's house and she had these beautiful native pecan trees in her yard down in Texas. And every, when the pecans started forming, we would pull them off the tree and put them behind her big white boat of a car. And we put them behind the tires so when she'd back out, she'd squish the pecans. Boy, would she get so mad because that driveway was full of squished pecans. It was, yeah, it was so much fun. That's what we had to do. That was, that's what entertained us as kids, was squishing pecans with the tires. So, anyway, here is our filling for our pecan pie bars. Oh, we're gonna wait for the crust to come out and as soon as it comes out, we're gonna put this on it and bake it again. All right, now our timer is going off. We're going to pull our sugar cookie dough out of the oven. It should be, oh, look at that, nice and brown. Now we wanna get this on here while it's still hot. I'm gonna spray this down. So we get all those nice pecans out of there. We're gonna take this and we're gonna spread it in here. I hope it covers it. Doesn't look like a lot of filling now, does it? But maybe we don't want the, a whole lot of filling here. So we're going to spread this on here while the sugar cookie is hot, the crust is hot. Get this spread around. It looks so yummy. juice in there that's filling all right 
Now this is going to go back into the oven for 15 minutes. Oh. Uh, to bake. All right, and then we'll come back and check on it. Okay, our uh, timer's going off, so we're going to shut that off. We're going to pull the pecan pie bars out. Oh, and it's set up really good. It looks just like, just like the top of a pecan pie. So this is going to have to set and cool for a full two hours before we can cut into it, because you want that middle, you want it to set. So, yep, that is done. And those, oops, here, I'll hold it up. Those are our pecan pie bars for National Pecan Pie Day. I have no worries that this isn't going to taste good. I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. But I will let you know. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.